Kella Chester here. I am joined by Andy Wittry today, who's going to share some fun research and stories he has with us on the USC mascot, the Trojans. Andy, let's start from the beginning. How did USC get nicknamed the Trojans? Who nicknamed them that and why? The USC Trojans mascot that originated from 1914, and there's two different versions. The first one goes that the Los Angeles Times sports editor Owen Byrd covered a USC Stanford track meet. And even though USC lost, is that he was still so impressed by their fight and kind of their resilient spirit, is that he dubbed them the Trojans. Kind of a different version goes that the school's athletic director, Warren Bovard, he knew that his school didn't really have a nickname. You know, USC, they had been called kind of casually and informally the Wesleyans, the Methodists, maybe even the Cardinal for a stretch based on just kind of the school colors. And so one story goes, according to the school website, that he then approached Bird, the L.A. Times sports editor, and said, like, hey, we need a mascot. Can you help us out? And then he covered this track meet, was so inspired, and then called them the Trojans. So there's two different versions and both kind of center on this one track meet in which USC lost. But it's still he was so impressed that he called them the Trojans. You mentioned some discrepancies in the story between Owen Bird, Warren Brevard. You did some research. Were you able to confirm either one of them? So I went back on newspapers.com. It's an online newspapers resource. And I found the actual kind of game story or game recap from that track meet in 1914. So it has Owen Byrd's byline. It's in the LA Times. And he talks about how, you know, Stanford was a bigger school. They were better and they won. But he was still very impressed by USC's athletes in that track meet. So the whole event that kind of centers around the name Trojan, we were able to kind of go back and confirm that, like, yes, this meet did happen. USC lost. But Bird was still very impressed by the school's athletes. So they got this nickname because they were kind of the underdogs, a smaller school, and he was so impressed by them. Now that's not the case. It sounds weird today when USC has claims to as many as nine national championships in football. You know, they rank in the top seven nationally in terms of all-time titles. But that wasn't always the case. You know, back in the day in the early 1900s, this was a school that university archivist Claude Zachary told me, you know, the school almost didn't survive multiple times. You know, forget football and athletics. Is it as an institution, they almost folded a couple of times. So they were kind of a small school, you know, back in the day when they first kind of guaranteed annual matchups with California Berkeley. That was like a huge deal. There was one story I found that was actually written by Owen Burr, this L.A. Times sports editor. And the headline was USC athletes now rank with big boys. And this is a school that at the time was very small. You know, they had maybe like less than 2000 students uh, compared to you know Stanford and Cal. They just weren't on that same level. And they grew over time. But back in the day, they weren't always this kind of national champion football powerhouse. Well, yeah, now as we know it, USC fans, alumni, students take great pride in their mascot and their school. Were there any stories that you found surrounding that? So every year, the rivalry week between USC and Crosstown rival UCLA is a big deal. And especially with kind of the proximity and geography of the two schools and their campuses is that there's lots of kind of, you know, shenanigans and antics during rivalry week where students from one school will go across to the other school's campus and maybe deface the statue or kind of pull a prank. So there's been cases where students may have, you know, burned one school's initials or logo in the opposite school's lawn. We've had, you know, paint poured on statues. There was one story, I believe from 2008, in which USC students caused allegedly $20,000 of damage to the UCLA Bruins statue. You know, we'll see as many as like two weeks in advance of the rivalry football game. Is it the Tommy the Trojan statue will be wrapped up in canvas and tied up to protect it? There's been stories of the UCLA Bruins statue being like put up in like a box crate to keep it safe. You know, there's been security guards who kind of stand watch and make sure that, you know, no rival students are coming across town to kind of mess with it. And the craziest one that I found was, I believe in the 1980s, there were UCLA students who got in a helicopter and they tried to drop paint from the sky on top of the Trojan statue. So the limits that these students will go to to mess with their rival are almost not limited. Well, those are some crazy stories. I wonder if UCLA has any different versions to those. That would be interesting to hear. But thank you so much, Andy, for sharing your research on USC today. Thanks, Thanks Michaela.